Hello viewer, this is 2013 Volkswagen Tiguan and the Tiguan uh, with our line uh, is developed some random misfire and uh, I'm gonna have a look at it see what's wrong with it and the code basically say random misfire and sometimes it will show 302 with the cylinder number 2 and uh, we'll see what happens stay tuned so we have 300 which is random misfire and cylinder number 1 misfire Not sure why it not say 301 right in the beginning, but it say random misfire. That's kind of odd, but we'll see what's going on here. I'm gonna erase this and I'm gonna swap the coil. And see what happens. So I'll erase. Now I'm gonna go swap the coil, or I'm gonna change the coil and see if the problem go away. So, cylinder number one, misfire. Cylinder number two, this coil had been replaced about a year ago, a year and a half ago. So this is original, original, original. So, to change the, uh, to pull this thing here out, you just need to open this tab in the back here by bending this little tab back. And I typically try to get a screwdriver in here help to push this harness back out so it don't break it so bend that go out so now this harness can just slide back and get out of the way so you can see by pushing it down you open the lock so here's the coil and here's, here's number two coil number two is brand new I bought it last year and keep it like that. I order um, four coil, but I don't, they only have three, and the other ones are coming in soon. So these coil come, I order on Amazon. Bosch coil. I want to change all four of them. I changed one last year or a year before. I forget now. Uh, but now I have a different cylinder uh, failing. So this coil, brand new one. So. Is a new coil. I checked the spark plug and the spark plug is fine. I ordered a new set of spark plug too, but it's 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 not coming in yet. It took a, it's uh, gonna take like another week before it come in. You know, it's best to change them all at the same time because it's, they're prone to fail. If one fails, then all other coil is on its way, failing soon. So here's number three. Put a new coil in. Number four coil. Put the harness back in and push it all the way until you hear the click. Okay, now I'm going to start the car. Car's running fine now. I'm gonna do a little short test ride and uh, see how it goes. Here is the part number. Order from Amazon. I think it's thirty-eight dollars a piece, Canadian. Uh, you can order from auto parts store. Last time I ordered from auto parts store when they really stuff. It's uh, eighty dollars a piece. So it's almost like double the price. So it's, uh, it's worth shopping around. Check on Amazon. To check the coil here, you can see the parting compound separate from the housing. There's some hairline crack as well. Definitely seen a lot of uh, heat and uh, it probably uh, the only way they can tell is the vector. So just to recap what we did here, we have an engine misfire, random misfire. We used a scanner and the scanner say uh, P0300 and P0301 or P0302 if I swap the coil around. Uh, then I order a new coil, I uh, replace the coil, and 
and then re uh, replace all the coil and uh, test the car and everything is working fine. So it is a simple uh, DIY if you have a scanner. So uh, you like the video, click like and subscribe. Thank you and have a good day.